Hey guys, what is happening? Welcome back to another Purple League. We are rocking a pretty cool deck that I, I really do enjoy. It's pretty fun to play and it has been developed over the past few weeks when you last seen it on the YouTube channel. But first, let's dive right in to shout out my handles. As you can see on the left, look at that, got it right first time. We are Teasdale MTG on Discord and Twitter. I'm pretty active in the fans Discord and the COC Discord, so please check that out. And on Twitter, I'm also pretty active, especially in the public community, I feel. Definitely they're commenting on a lot of different posts, like their ideas, all that sort of good stuff. So please check me out, give me a follow. But if you want to support me, the best way to support me is like and subscribe on this video and YouTube channel at Teasdale MTG. It is really appreciated. But now... All of that spiel is gone. Let's dive right in. It's pop time. So this is the deck we are playing. We are playing Mono Blue Terra or Mono Blue Delver, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's been popping up here and there, obviously with Blue Black Terra as well. It's not got a lot of the good removal spells that Blue Black does have, but it has other threats and other ways to interact with your opponent, which makes it quite hard to deal with. The initial idea is play a threat, i.e. Delva or Terra or Spire Golem, I guess. And then basically protect it with Force by Counter Spell, Lose Focus, Snap, all these sort of good interactive spells. You keep the cards going with Thought Scour, Consider, and Frantic Inventory and Brainstorm. Just get your card advantage. And also, I guess, the Miser Deep Analysis. And then you basically Ruffle Stomp your opponent down to zero with. A 3-2 flyer or a 5-5 five, five, ward 2 or a 2-4 flyer generally. So that's pretty much the basic idea. There's a lot of different interaction. There's a lot of one-offs, a lot of three-offs. Just to kind of try and hedge your bets. We've got the one-off Echo and Truth. Uh, we have three snaps, one lose focus, which is good against Cascade. Four four spike. Not a lot I run in the full four, but I am a big fan. Um, you are quite a fast deck basically forcing your opponent to make plays that they don't want to make and can't play around everything and generally force spikes are one that they stop playing around so with that being said that is the main board i however will change these snow covered islands because they do not need to be snow covered anymore but other than that pretty much straightforward main board the moving on to the sideboard we have three annuls for basically affinity but it also doubles up against like say Corgate where you're worried about journey and modern age I guess it's pretty interesting to be like that sort of interaction then we have six hydro effects three hydros three bebs for the red decks uh, we have one curfew which is just pretty good against like bogles one of Dispel, a second copy of Echo and Truth, a second copy of Lose Folks, and two Gut Shots just in case we see fairies. The deck will still not die. And that is it for the deck deck, guys. And I'll see you guys for round one. And don't forget to enjoy. Hey, guys. Welcome back to round one. Uh, we are on the play. We are actually going to keep this hand. YOLO. We have Delva on turn one. What is more broken than Delver on one? Play your tap land and pass. No, leave it alone. Don't disfigure it. Whew. She's playing mono black. Probably uh, Weber's mono black, to be fair. Uh, we're going to respond to this trigger and probably brainstorm. Try and hit lands. Um, we kind of need the land. So please don't snuff it out. Please. Thank you. Trigger. Brainstorm. We hit a land. Okay. So, I want to put a land back and then an echo and truth. And then flip the echo and truth. Yes. And draw. No! Let me play my land. God damn it. Maybe that was a bit greedy. But. Oh well, it'll be right. Colony Garden, eh? 
So there is a land in the which we will draw. We will consider our options. Uh, we will probably put that land in the bin. Okay. Um, I kind of do want to brainstorm. One, two, one, two spells in the bin. Yeah, three. And then play a land and hold up four spike. Hopefully we... So we want to put the... I want to put the Echo and Truth and then the... Hmm... I want to put the land and then the echo and truth, I think. And then we're going to hold up force spike and then consider the echo and truth to the bin. One, two, three, four, five. That means we can play this. Are you deadly disputing? Yeah, that's... Nope. Ah, ah, ah. No, uh oh, oh. Yes, put that in the bin, draw the island, draw something fresh for the turn. And this costs one, right? So we can play a land. Play this for one. And we can play this for two, or we can just hold up snap. I feel like holding up snap's probably better, because we can snap frantic inventory. And he's stuck on two lands. So he has to have chairs here. You do. The front given tree. Woohoo! Let's go! Mm, I'm just gonna splurge on the board. I like splurging. Splurgy, splurgy. Your turn. Can your deck with two lands deal with two terrors and a spider golem? Reckon the spider got blood. It's a colony garden. We have an elder. Dolmum. Sure, take seven. Do you have the power to deal with this? Can you possibly answer this amazing board? Do, 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 do. Fish. Fish. Okay. Flip. 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 Do you want to reveal a spy goal? No. So, disfigure the Delver. Okay. So we hit for seven. He blocks one. Goes to two. We play another Spire Golem. Pass the turn. So even if he has a block over this, we kill him in the air. Come on. Come on. Let's just accept it. Let's go game two. Come on. Come on. Game two. Let's go. Fish is in. Look at the fish. Look at it go. Look at it go. So. We want to dispel. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Maybe we're going to lose focus too. Um, it's not the greatest. Echo and Truth is pretty poor. Um, and I feel like we can also put Air Force Spike potentially. Yeah. And just have more interaction. And then just raffle stomping with big terrors. Look at my huge snake. Look at it go. So, we don't have a threat, we have an auger, which is pretty poor, we have consider only one land. Um, 
I feel like we have time with Dark I consider that we can actually kind of hit our land drops and well we hit our land drops anyways because we are a bola and then end step end step consider look at this value the value four spike in the bin never never give me my lens give me my lens give me my lens so we're gonna force bike summit because he's gonna. Hmm. Hmm. Yolo. Ha ha ha! We got you good. Um. I'm gonna thought to have myself. Please don't hit Terra. For God's sake! Brainstorm. That's a lot of four spikes. Uh, we probably don't need another land, so just land snap. And then we play Augar, and we at least get a snap. But we get to lose folks instead, because we is awesome. Every day is awesome. You can resolve your deadly dispute. Like, you bug me. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. That's a bit sad. I would have liked my uh, graveyard to be untouched. But here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Unexpected veins. Okay. Okay. Oh, Terra. That would have been nice. But no. Someone's on the phone police. Right. I am unstoppable. Blued fountain. Okay. Crack your blued fountain. Oh, your blued. I'm gonna tap this to deadly this blue away. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let me have my terror! Chainer's Edict. Huh. Huh. Mm, no. Pay one. Pay one. Ha! Get wrecked. We showed you. Leave my auger alone. Ooh, Delva. Hello, Delva. Just gives the um, force spike and the chain is gives me two cards in the bin, which is decent. It also gives, uh, still allows me to have chain as protection because most likely he's gone hard on the chain as removal. Four. Um. Uh, no. 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 No, 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 no. No, no, no. Please be kind. Please don't snuff out my dude. Ha! Give me a spell! Oh, that's a bit sad. Well, at least I guess we can uh, frantic inventory and hold up counter spell, I guess. Three, four, five, six, seven. We can also tap out for a uh, terror, which I don't really like when he has five cards in his hand. It's not ideal. No. Um, do I want to give him lands? Yeah, sure. You can have more stuff. He sacked the blood. Interesting. Does he get a land? Does he get a land? Oh, he has a swamp. He can now trigger his snuff outs. What do you get for running non basics? 
It's not out, it's not free, you know. Gonna take four. Hmm. Yeah, sack this or something. Gurmy? A Gurmy? No. No, no, no. No, no, no. Snuff? Snuff, snuff. I will tap out for a frantic inventory here. I'm not, like, if he's gonna kill something, like, it's resolving anyways here. So if you want to, like, snuff this out now, then sure. Snuff my 1-1. One, one. I'm just gonna disfigure it and then snuff this. Ooh, I got a Delver. Can I untap? Yeah, let's go. Give me a spell. That's an island. That is not what I wanted. I'm not gonna play. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna play his land. I'm gonna hit for two. Because he can't unexpected fangs and trade or whatever. And then I'm gonna play a terror. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I'm not going to play the Delver just because of Suffocating Fumes. I'd rather wait for this one to flip first. Just for reference. Um, I'm going to do this now. Whee! Oh, look at all that. Look at them spells. Leave my terror alone. One, two, three, four, five. So he's way off. Um, you're bouncing the swamp. Okay. So he most likely hasn't got snuff out in his hand. So we want our Delver to flip. Four. No. Two. See, I'm deadly disputable of found here. Yes. You got it. Interesting thing to do, like, the rot farm first, because you want to see if you... Like, you could draw a snuff out here that you just ca now can't cast. Well, you can hard cast a snuff out, but it's obviously not the same. Gurmy. Sure. Gurmy, Gurmy. So, we're going to wait till this... See what this flips. Island. No. Flip and brainstorm, okay, into island. Frantic inventory, give me cards. So we have to play an island here. Snap this. Give me my mana. Brainstorm. So we can go island thought scour. And then I think we just basically smash play two Delvers and Aspire Golem. Yes, take two. Maybe I just put... Mm, nah, YOLO. YOLO! YOLO! Your turn. I have one card in hand the Thought Scar on top. Sure, that's fine. And then he kills me 5-5, five, five, sure. Yes. 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 So he blocks one of these, takes 3, 6, 7, 8, 9. Take 9. Joe. Sure. What was the other card that we, uh, a Delver? Okay. Mm hmm, hmm, you're on two. So you can't snuff out for free. He has to hard cast it. Tiger player sacks a creature, okay. Chainers. Uh, I feel like it's a Delver. As opposed to a Spire Golem here. 
Mm, no, probably not. Just in case he's got. Uh, blah, 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 Four, five, six, seven. Just leaving the chain is in the bin for the gummy. Yes. So then attack. So then he's dead, right? Unless I'm missing something. Let's well, frantic inventory for four cards, anyways. <laughs> I was unsure what he could have there. Spin and darkness was my only thought, but then he doesn't have two cards in the uh, three cards in the bin for spin and darkness. So I'm uncertain. But anyways, we got the game. And I'll see you guys for round two. Hey guys, welcome back to round two here. Um, we do have a Spire Gorm and three lands. We have a Snap and Force Bikers early interaction. I feel like I am going to keep it. It is a bit slow. But. So we are against either Boros or Mardu. I feel like Mardu is not the greatest of matchups. Because they have Garv Blast and Lightning Bolt to interact with the early interaction. Like Delver and Spire Golem and all that sort of good stuff. But then also they've got the Chainers to clean up the like Terrors. Nope. Take your value where you can get it. Uh, uh, uh. Tap land. Ooh. Epicure. Okay. So, probably something like the Boros, uh, like a Swift Spear Secret Away Boros Aggro deck, I'd guess. Like the Cold Offer version. Boros called offer. It's the word I'm looking for. Spring leaf drum. You got it, pal. Am I getting called offered? Hmm. Kidoki. So I can tap out here for a Spire Golem, but I don't really feel how beneficial that is. I'd rather keep some form of interaction like a Spell Pierce or Force Spike up. So I just think I've passed the turn. It's only got three cards in hand, however, but <clears throat> rather keep keep it protected. I don't get a Thought Scourer either. <clears throat> Crack your blood and sacrifice your mountain. It's gone. Got all them artifacts. <clears throat> Ow. Don't hit us too hard. Oh. <laughs> Froggy! Yan, two, three, four, five. Shut. Keep the value to a minimum, please. No fun is allowed. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're gonna mana tithe me. Oh no. He's going to pay the two. One, two, three, four. Mm. Pay the two, sir. Pay the two. Four spike. You are not allowed a experimental synthesizer while on the clock. Island is also fine because now I get to play this. And hold up two mana for snap. Um, and if that doesn't work and there is a kill spell or something, we can snap it back and then we can look at like deep analysis, analysis next turn. So three cards in hand. I feel like a lot of them are lands though, but I could be wrong. Red, white, aggro. Are we getting lightning bolted or galv blasted? We are getting cool dothed. Cool dothed. Okay. It's three and three one ones. Uh, 
and play your Thraben. Your Thraben Inspector. One card in hand. Galve Blast as well. Ready? Galve Blast your Spire Golem. I'm ready. My mind is ready for this. Oh no, it's just another. Just another one. That's a lot of 1-1s. One Are you attacking? Or are you gonna wait? Consider, Delva doesn't cut it here, so I have one in the bin. Counter spells nice and on time. Kinda digging for, not that. So we're gonna block here, uh, block here, snap here. Take five, six, seven, so. Boing. Six, seven, eight, even. Down to nine. Then we can count the spell it on the way down. It's the game plan. A glint talk. Obviously foreshadowed my uh, counter spell here, but that's yeah, fine. I might as well play it. Sure. Cracky closure. Echo true. So we block here, take six, seven, eight. Is that? So you're telling me we're not dead? Block here, take eight. We're on one. Are we dead? Froggy. Froggy's gonna kill us. Redraw. So close. So close. Okay, so. Echo and Truth needs to come in. The, I probably think all the Bebs and all the Hydros come in. Um... A null doesn't really do anything that much that I'm bothered about. So I think that's pretty much it. We deep analysis. Spell pierce is okay, but not fantastic. Echo is where we want to be, I think. Snap's pretty poor, but we don't really have removal other than that. Blue focus can go. That counter spell could probably go. I feel like definitely a few copies of counter spell could go. Maybe we only keep one in. My is a copy. Uh, two is probably more correct. Snap doesn't really do anything though. Four spike. I can see cotton one. Um. Maybe I cut a snap and then one consider. Snap's more like a protective spell in this matchup, I feel. So, uh, this hand is a keep. You have end of turn consider. 
into Augur. Off our end of turn frantic inventory. Which I think I'm more likely to do, to be fair, considering a frantic inventory into hit land drop, hopefully Augur. With Hydro. This is kind of what I'm looking at, I think. So we've got the Hydro and the Beb for like, Cold Author and all that sort of, like, the powerful red spells that he's got in his deck. Obviously, we can't really answer the creatures, but I feel like our creatures line up better than that, so... Counter spell, do I want to keep? No, I want to put that in the bin. Spire Gorm's fine. We hit our land drop, that's good. Now we can hold up. Did I cut three counter spells or two? One, two? Two. So there's still one counter spell left in the deck. That's fine. Like, I, don't, I don't think we need it too much. Like Our protection is more... It's not really like... It's not against a heavy removal deck. For example, so, so you're stuck on one land, okay. Okay, please don't whiff them bottom three amazing things. Force spike or counter spell? Counter spell, huh? Or even brainstorm. To be fair, brainstorm is probably where I want to be. And you have to play your land again, well done. You did it, sir! You've mastered your combo! Look at it go! Well done, old chap. Delver and Spire Golem seem decent, so we're gonna Delver. Hello, Delver. Spire Golem. Pass the turn. He's got a white sauce. He's got two white mana. What to do with it? I don't I'm not in a rush to flip this, I don't think. Especially well, I guess I am now. Watch out. Interesting attack. Okay. Has he got two of them? He has two of them. Okay. So these trade. I think I'm fine with this because I can just brainstorm. Probably will brainstorm end of turn. Because I'm going to force this to flip. That's fine. That's fine. That's still fine. Yeah, come on. Um, probably land, thought scour, reveal the thought scour, draw said thought scour, maybe could have put the inventory but it is still drawn too, I guess we thought scour ourselves, pick that land, and oh, we hit Delver, Damn. that'd be sad. We'll have an echo truth for these if they do end up being an issue. Which I'm not particularly concerned about just yet. This is fine, we'll take six. I'm not gonna block because it'll just kill it. Uh, six, seven, eight. I'm hoping a frantic inventory into another threat here. Terra's nice. And Delva. We hit Force Bike Island, that's fine. Play Land, play Terra, play Delva. Hit for three. We hope his blind flips. Uh, I'm not gonna block with this, so I'll attack with it. Three, six, eleven. So 
So block one. Yes. Three, six. So we got six. I think I'm fine with this. To kill one. Nope. So he's got one card in hand here. We're going to blind flip this. Uh, do you want to do this card? No. I do. However, I want to flip it off the top. I don't want to draw an island. Island, island. I probably should have drew a card there instead of casting this. But yes, put it in the graveyard. We got terror. Nice. And a snap. So. We played Terra here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Put him at three. And then we can echo on two of these. To be fair, right, while he's got no red, I'm actually just going to snap this. And then untap two lands. I think that's a lot better as an option. Um, just because if he draws... Uh, it means I have a basically a Hydroblast for his burn spell. Because if if I just held up uh, Echo and Truth, he could have red, uh, burn spell and then draw into a burn spell. And then basically I Echo and Truth his guys and he just goes burn, burn. Where this basically effectively does the same thing, but it plays around. It, it kills both his guys so he doesn't get damage through, but also plays around two burn spells. Uh, I'm happy with this, I think. Mm-hmm. What the? So we are on the draw, we have two frantic inventories and a counter spell. Our opponent begins with seven on the player. After that, we can mulligan this. This hand's much better. Probably bottom the frantic inventory. Yeah. It's a weird one. I would like, obviously, all seven, but nothing is perfect. I maybe could have had an argument for the hydroblast, but... I'm not going to play the Delver, I don't think. Because I want to play Delver, hold up Island for the Hydro, in case he's got removal. Uh, I do also not want to return a follow you. I don't want to yield in case he obviously called off his. I don't know why I did that. The Raven's fine. Only got one land again. Okay. Island Delver. So only having one land here. That's fine. Uh, two artifacts. He's gonna attack for one. Hopefully, play something irrelevant, and then we can brainstorm. Cold offer. Epicure. Is that irrelevant? One, two, three. Take one. Hey, that's fine. Stone of Brainstorm. So. I guess we do this. I'm not really particularly bothered about the auger, I don't think. Get to flip it, draw. Uh, do I care about the auger? I don't know. I'm uncertain here. I feel like 
not. But I don't care about the auger, but I might. I'm, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I'm going to brainstorm thoughts guard holding up Hydro here. He's probably fine. And then keep the Auger. And then look at Auger and Terror next turn. These are called Otter. It's a Ginger Brute. Gingy! One, two, three, four is that? Okay. Sure. Can now start playing his Frogmites. Hits for two here. Oh, hits for three, sorry. I forget this has haste. Has a land? Oh god. Froggy, sure. No more froggies. No more froggies. One, two, three, four, five, six is that? And okay. So brainstorm. So this and this I think and then we thought scour pitch in the front of imagery in the thought scour one two three four five draw another island's a bit annoying auger Sure, you're not playing red elemental bass here, you're just trying to kill this. Yep, count on this. What are we flipping? Frantic inventory of four spikers. One frantic inventory in the bin. Four spikers don't really do anything. So we'll uh, pick the frantic inventory. We'll play our land, play our terror, and then we'll fly for three. So we have some game against like what's going on on the board here. It's got three cards in hand. Can't really do anything currently, but we're just gonna try and race him here with some form of interaction. He's found a third land with three cards in hand. Called Arthur. Do it a nine. Not red. That is annoying. That's probably more annoying. Okay. But it explains the slow start. Had a lot of interaction for the terrors, I'm guessing. But we get to block kill one of these. I think I'm forcing them. Two, three, four. So we probably block the Gingy because he can go unblockable. And then take four here down to 11. Don't draw land. Augur. Something relevant. I kind of want the blue elemental blast, but I also want the brainstorm. So I feel like I'm going to pick the brainstorm. This could be wrong. We get to hit for three here. We get to block a Epicure and a Frogmite. Maybe the Null should have come in, but I am uncertain. We can take five here. Take five, go to six. He has two cards in his hand. Epicure. Brainstorm. Land. Consider. And then we can hydro this. And then have spell pairs up for something. Like, say, if he tries to Galve Blast here or something like that. Let's go. 
three, four, five. So we draw the consider. We put the land in the graveyard. Got a frantic inventory. Got a frantic inventory. Oh god. Not like this. It's frantic inventory again. Oofed. Choices, choices. So he's got one card, two draws in it, uh, potentially three. Galve Blast doesn't kill us. So we can attack for three. Galve Blast doesn't kill us. And he can't double draw any. He can't draw double Galve Blast. So we can just play Terror and attack for three. That seems fine. I guess Cool Doth is a problem. Block. Oh. <sighs> if he draws Cold Doth, that's an issue. Or is it an issue? I guess we just play this. I think this is our best bet. We can't physic. From memory, I don't think we can actually die here. What the hell is he talking to? Oh, cracks a clue. Sure. White for a 3-3. Three, three. Okay. And he now can't attack. We're drawing a lot of lands here. But we're going to try and hit, kill him in the air. For, in, uh, a few turns. It's kind of the game plan. Play a land. Pass the turn. How many islands have we flipped over in the bin? One. So it's 8, 9, 10. Synth. No. Uh-uh-uh. No redraws for you. Crack your blood for your land, sure. Into another land, so you can't attack again. Delver. So we're going to hit for three. Play a Delver. Pass the turn. So Galve Blast doesn't do it, doesn't kill us. Kuldotha doesn't kill us. Nice! Let's go! Woo 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 woo! Two and elf. See you guys for round three. Hey guys, welcome back to round three. We are on the draw, and I feel like this is a, a keep. It's pretty slow. But we have some oh my god, not called off a red. Not called off a red! No! Not with a warning against the slow deck. Uh, yep. So what? It... Oh no, okay. Black red madness. Black red madness is a little bit slower. So we are going to end of turn brainstorm, and all there'll be people. In, people absolutely raging. Not the brainstorm. It's a sorcery. Uh, I'm gonna put this. And the snap, and then we're gonna untap, draw the snap, and then cast the ogre. Ogre, and then hopefully whiff, not whiff, but like hit something else that's not the deep analysis, like a counter spell. So then the deep analysis can go. And here we are, we have an ogre. They do have metalcraft, so they might be like Galf Blast this. Oh, they're just lightning bolt it. Sad times. Sad, sad, sad times. Do, 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 You have a kitchen imp. It is all kitcheny and impy. Are you stuck on turn once? Look at all of that value. That value. Hit for three. Ba, 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 ba. I don't have one instant and sorcery in the bin. And I do wish I had a land. And he plays a Dross Forward Bridge. Because he's OP. Terra. So we're going to lead on Brainstorm. We're going to hit more lands. Yes, let's go. Here's how I wrote it up. And I'm going to put these two on top. And then we're going to look at Snapping and or Counterspelling. 
into Terra. Uh, Thought Scour. Thought Scour put two Frantic Inventories on the bottom, uh, into the bin, and then double Terra. This be our game plan. Hit four three. So what we will do is we will snap the four mana dude and untap some lens. Untap my lens. This lets us hold up Count Spell. Uh, we take one. It also lets us hold up Thought Scour Spell Pierce, depending on what the context of our opponent's hand is. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around and frantic inventory you. Come on. Bomb. Bomb. What are you doing? Why are you gal blasting me for, you weirdo? Go away. So three unknowns in his hand. Yeah, the four spike. The four spike. Let's go. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. I like six because six is terror for one. Terror for one. Your turn. <laughs> I may be on ten. And what are you doing? You're hard casting a temper. Boss bike. Ha ha! Get got, sir. Get got. So he has Kitchen Imp, two unknowns. He's going to hard cast a Kitchen Imp. Don't hard cast a Kitchen Imp. Please. Vampire's Kiss. So we are actually going to spell pierce this. So if he pays for it, he can't um, Kitchen Imp this turn. So that next turn, we can counter spell the Kitchen Imp. So we do take the two. He does gain two. Quite annoying, but we will work around it. He's played a land for the turn, so he can't uh, Madness the Kitchen Imp. And then we have the counter spells. And we even have a snap. Mm, ten. Tenny, ten, 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 ten. So we have double counter spell up, basically. We're going to take one. Pretty annoying, but he's got two cards in his hand. I wonder what this is. What could this possibly be? <gasps> okay. You're going to cast your kitchen imp? You are. I'm going to counter it. I'm going to counter it with fire. You may draw a card. <laughs> See, it's two unknowns. Not another one. Come on, dude. Dude. Go away. It's got a two cards. So we do count this. We take one, got seven. Got two. Do we just die here? Is there potential? Plus. Plus, don't kill us. Please. Not the face. Ow. That's annoying. That be annoying. We're on two. That be annoying. Terror. We are going to hit you in the face for 10. Is this opponents? It is opponents here. Yes. So we are going to snap our Terror here. Untap two lands. And then Terror, Terror. Because we can't snap these because it puts us to one. And then, like, I guess there's really any difference apart from an Epicure. But this means we can just block. Don't kill us. You have two draws to not kill us. Don't kill us. Not the face. You're no fun. You, sir, are no fun. Oh, right, so. We like some lose focus. We like some high draw blasts. We like some blue elemental blasts. We don't like a null. We don't like echo and truth. Dispel's a bit medium. He's got lightning balls. He's got gal blasts. He's got... Fiery Temper might be enough, potentially. Um, all of those are hit by Blur Metal Blast, so that is one thing to note. Lewis Focus is obviously pretty okay. Snap's pretty poor. 
Uh, Air Country is pretty poor. Force Bag's kind of okay. They operate on quite low mana. Low mana threshold. Look at me, I sound smart. Um, Boss Spike is okay on the play. Lose Focus. Do I want Lose Focus? Do I want Lose Focus? Probably, maybe. Mm, don't dispel. Got two cards left to cut. Probably a... Um, probably a Consider. Yep. And probably a something. Probably another consider. Let's try that. Okay. So we have Term One Island in a Force Bike slash Consider into Turn Two Brainstorm Thought Scour. Like most likely end of the turn. Just so we can keep our mana up. Your turn, sir. Your turn. Papland? Hmm. I will consider. If he wants to lightning bolt me, he can lightning bolt me. Uh, do I want to put it in good bed? No. Can I end up? Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Are you going to lightning bolt me? You are not. Is he going to play a red black carnarium or whatever it's called? Oh, look at that. It's like I wrote it up. Look at me go. Uh, I'm going to end of turn brainstorm and thought scour, I think. Let's go! Ooh, threats. Ew, threats! Um, I actually... Hmm. I don't really want to get rid of anything. I kind of like Thought Scour Counterspell. Draw. Play Land. Play Delva Delva. Delva Delva. And then we get to flip the Thought Scour. Uh, we get to flip the Delva off the Thought Scour, I should say. Three mana. Suffocating Fumes. Oh. Uh, no. No, no, no! If you want to kill these, that's fine. I'll kill one of these, I guess. Pay costs, sure. Bolt. What's the matter? Do you not like my pressure? Draw. We get to dome for three. And then I'm finally even counter spell and force spike up. Uh, end of turn, maybe. Thought Scour. Maybe. I'm in no real rush, I don't think. Vampire's Kiss. Counter spell. Nah, uh, uh. Nah, uh, uh. I love Force Bike. Force Bike is such an amazing card. It is fantastic in every way. Oh yes! Take three! <laughs> you have five mana. What are you going to do with it? Sure. You have got two cards in hand and I'm on 19. What are you going to do? With your four mana, you are going to discard a card for madness. And it's probably a kitchen name. Why wouldn't it be? And then we'll probably just lose focus it. Boop. Okay. Ha ha! Same targets. We got you good, sir. Ha. You may draw a card. Please don't kill my Delva. Please don't kill my Delva. Please don't kill my Delva. Okay. That's fine. That's good. Hi, Droy. Eh? I thought to myself. 
Not that you need counter spell. Hit a Lando, which is kind of what I wanted, because we got to play this for two and hold up Hydro Blast. Then look at his go. Hit for three. So we hit for three, then five, then five, and then the dead. Pretty easy game plan. Just plus, plus no more kitchen imps. No more kitchen imps, please. No, not like this. Okay, that one's okay. Yeah, third. Oh, you hit me, Delva. Not today, sir. Not today. Ha. I got you. Two cards in. Please don't kill me, Delva. Come on. Dude, please be nice. Please. Please. I ask you one thing. Arms. Arms is okay. Uh, five... And it changes the clock by a turn. But he's going to draw a bolt anyways. Here's the bolt I drew earlier. Ha. Give me something good. That is not something good. Attack with all. He's on a four turn clock at the moment. Five, five lands we've seen, and he can look at flashback and a looting as well. Here it comes, flashback looting. Oh, beggar! Yes, I think we're going down here, boys. I think we're going down. We're going down just like this. Oh my god, max, max value. Hot, damn. Not my Delva. Sure. He went from a four, a three turn clock now to a uh, six turn clock. Let's go. Two four to the rescue. I'm just gonna guild. I don't think we can attack here now either, because we are definitely not winning this race. Uh, give me something good. Okay. Do we attack? Do we? I think not. I think not. Please. Again, how much left it again? Five. We'll be on six, we're gonna have three turn clock. Oh, go away! <laughs> Please leave me alone. What have I done? I think we're going down. I think we're going down. To eight. To six. I don't like this. Gonna draw to the land anyways. Told ya. Hmm. Six, seven. Uh, I think we're dead. I think we'd be dead, boys. I think we'd be dead. They have two looks, two cards in hand, and then two looks at three damage. So, we are pretty much guaranteed to die here. Why have I not yielded? Come on, hit me with it. Okay, let's get him on one card. Oof, another island. Ready? Oh, we did anyways. Ah, uh, no, not like this. Just didn't have the pressure to follow up with. Oh well, it happens. See you guys for round four. Hey guys, welcome back to round four here. We are on the draw. I feel like this is a fine hand to keep. It's pretty much we're relying on four spikes slash what the? 
What the? Čo? Grain. OK. No som len zvať pogol, to... I am uncertain. Hopefully has another land to go with his uh, crumble and vestige. Very odd. Could be against like green black, I guess. A green black sacrifice, maybe. Crystal Grotto. Oh, I have. Yeah, I'm lost. I'm lost. What did he do with the scry? At least it was untapped, I guess. We're on the bottom. And you are doing what? Anything? Nothing? Green? That, sir, looks like a false spike target. Get out of here, boy! I have no idea where our opponent is on, but get out of here, boy! Snap! So we got frantic inventory here. What the hell? Golgari Rot Farm, bouncing the vestige. Oh, bouncing. What? What? What is going on? I don't understand. You sure? Hit me with your best shot. Boop. So, we're going to consider our options. We are going to put said land in the bin and draw in another land. Helpful. Helpful. I don't really want a thought scour away either because I don't want to hit like threat threat draw a card and then draw land or something. Um I could look at thought scour and them. One, two, three, four, potentially. It is an option. Why are you know whatever. Whatever. I have no idea what this opponent is on. Not a sausage of a clue. But it looks like fun. This mana base is wild. I, will, I am going to get one to death by this young wolf. No, I'm not. Clearly. Second main phase, he's going to tap it for white. So he's green, black, white. Sure. Exile in the frantic inventory, I'm guessing. Yes. Okay. That's perfect what we need. Terra Delva. One, two, three. So three. I think we're just pitching lands here. I really do. We haven't played a land this turn, so. Pitch two lands. One, two, three, four. Um. Four and six. So we can snap one, two, three, four. Snap this. Five, six, seven, and play terror. Um, I don't really like that. I think I just wait a turn. Like I'm not under too much pressure or anything. I can look at like spell piercing or snap spell pierce or snap echo and truth, and then basically go delve terror terror. Gonna hit get hit for two here. That's sixteen. Now opponent has four cards in hand and he put the top card on the bottom. White. Another Dawnbringer. Okay. So he gets to exile something like another spell. Hmm. Sure. So I will snap. I think I'm going to snap this. I can do this. One, two, three, four, five, is it? Three, four, five, six, seven. 
It's going to be a Terra Double Delver, I think. This gives me Chain his protection, while also making him like redeploy his threats, while also not committing two Terrors. Like if I just double Terror and he Chains, it, like it's going to feel a lot worse. He puts that card on top. There's six cards in hand, three of them, two are, two are Dawnbringers. Now like if he wants to commit like Dawnbringer, Dawnbringer here, which he can do. And exile and spells and stuff, that's fine. Like I don't really care. Sure. I just really hope these flip here. This guy's mana base is wild. Really, I'm hoping these Delvers flip. Flip, don't give me islands. Consider yes. Let's go, consider yes. Take six. Consider. Spire Golden. Mm, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. So no. Play this for two, hold up spell pierce. Uncertain what the black's for. We've got a sentinel, a young wolf, two dawnbringer clerics. I, yeah, sure. I ain't got the foggiest of clues. Um, we are on the draw. I don't want to take one to take a force bike out for a lose focus, I guess. Well, I can't keep that now, can I? Mulligano. Can't really keep that either, but I am. Keep that bomber car spell. On the draw, let's go. Crumbling Vestige into Young Wolf. Or Jasper a Sentinel. And he's got Calney Garden. Okay. Maybe I should have took out the Spell Pierce. Is it Golgari Rock Farm time? Crystal Grotto time. Okay. You get to scry. Puts it to the bottom. Sure. Gingy Brute. Gingy Brute. Sure. Start that one. Interesting that he played it second main, not gonna lie. Uh, yes, that can go to the graveyard. Draw for turn. Had it the entire time, was never worried. Never. Never worried. Shot. Another crystal grotto. And he put that card to the bottom too. And then he's gonna hit me for one. And then is he gonna tap three to play Dawnbringer Cleric? No, he is not. I'm gonna consider. And that is a Spire Golem. I am gonna put that in the bin actually. We've got another land which is pretty good. Augur is fine. I'm fine playing the Augur out and then holding up one of these count spells of some description. Brainstorm is exactly what we need. One, two, three. 
Fair moment, he's got no white here, so like four spike does actually counter in Dawn Ring a cleric. Because he has to pay three for it. Unless obviously plays an untapped land. Which he does not. He's going to bounce his corner garden. Play nothing. Sure. Can't attack for He is attacking for one. Oh, he's going to do this in his attack phase thing. You got it, sir. You showed me. No blocks. Um, actually, I'm going to do this end of turn because I do want it. One, two, three, four. Do I need all of these counter spells? Dang, name it. So at least we get a player. One, two, three, four. Delvers. Okay, and then we get a hold up counter spell, flip the counter spell as well. Uh, I'm going to attack the one as well. Like, I think it's fine. And we get a hold up counter spell or four spike spell pierce. I don't know how good the spell pierce is going to be. But. One, two, three, four. Four, a uh, monarch. No. New. One, two, three, four, five. Attack for one. Seven. Okay. We get a flip to count spell. Yes. And then we attack. I'm not particularly bothered about the ginger brute, so we've now got count spell and four spike up. Or count spell spell pierce, or lose focus, depending on what he does. And then when we cast one of these, we can um, monarch again. Counter spell. Which he I flipped, so we knew we had. Let's see attacks for one here. Yep. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. He can play a Dawnbringer Cleric here. Do you like to do a second man? No, okay. We can play this for free. Well, for one, I should say. Not for free. And then hit for four. Go to 11. Hold up Counter Spell, or again, lose focus or spell pace, whatever. We hold up some form of interaction for whatever his game plan is. I still have no idea. Colony Garden's fine. He will eventually have to lose all these plant tokens. Sure, you pay your one. My guy does not have his tower, will I cope? Four cards in hand and nothing to do. Sure. We will send them. No blocks. Go to two. Okay. I am at a loss. I have no idea what is going on. Not the foggiest. Green and one and play a rock farm, sure. I've no idea how our opponent is gonna get out of this, but Elvish Visionary. Sure but that doesn't fly, so I don't really care. Like he's on five effectively with the ginger brew. But he attacks with it? Okay. Sure. Okay. End the turn. Oh dear. Send them. Green and one. For a moment's peace. Spell pace. Mm -hmm. I was paying three for it. I mean, okay.
He has paid for it. Counter spell. Attack. Do 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 do. No idea what opponent was on. No idea what he's doing. But we got there. See you guys for the fifth and final round. Hey guys, welcome back to the fifth and final round here. We are on the player. We have got a pretty decent hand here. Uh, only one land, but we've got Brainstorm, Thought Scour, Consider to fix it. We also have Let Force Spike to uh, kind of wreck our opponent on turn one, potentially. White Green. Um, I'm going to consider here, hopefully at land. No, I'm going to put down the bin. Hit another Terror. Draw a land, which is pretty good. And then we're just going to pass the turn here. White, green. So I'm assuming some sort of initiative deck, I would guess. Or not. We're just on bonus. Okay. That's a false spike, I guess. Just makes it more mana. And then we're going to brainstorm. Spell pace isn't a bad one. But land's not a bad one either. Um, I guess we just go Spire Golem land and then pitch the Spire Golem. So draw the land then consider. And we have currently four spells in the bin, so it'll be five. We're going to spell pierce up. Hmm. Then we're going to look at double terror next turn. I've lost me slip that. So he gets a sacred cat as well. Uncounterable. Can't interact with this bad boy. Slippery bogle and sacred cat. The combos. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, one, two, three, four. We take three here. We consider, we put that in the bin. We end up drawing a lamp. No, okay. And then we thought scar ourselves. Force bike island. Snap. Uh, we pay this for one. And... We play this for one. And then we pass the turn. We have four spike and spell pace up. Hmm. I feel like we can wait on this. We might we'll probably play the cat here. We can snap that, that's no problem at all. Play the mana gates, that puts these up to fours. So we're probably going to look at um, snapping this. And then hit for 10. Stop the life gain coming on. Put him on a two turn clock and then we have some form of interaction. Yeah, hit for 10. We can have lose focus, spell pace, or lose focus, force spike. The fact that he's blocking with one of them is great. Ledge Walker. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Is that? This is fine. Pretty awkward. We're on 17. He's hitting us for five. But he can't really follow up with a, a threat here. So, we take five. We're kind of winning the race. Bogle. Scatter shot archer in the main. Well, you can get four spiked. And then we get a hit for ten, put him at five, and then he has to leave this back. Hmm. 
The only concern, I guess, is... No, not even that. I was going to say Armadillo Cloak, but then he can't activate either. Spirited Companion. Sure. So he's going to activate here. No, he's going to put an Armadillo Cloak on it. Let's go. We got a spell, Pierce. For your armadillo cloak. Yes. Yes, even better. Easy. Was never worried. Never. Uh, and no seems interesting. Curfew seems interesting. Good shot for Spirit Companion and Sacred Cat seems okay, I guess. This spell doesn't seem great. These are like my options, I think. Um, Echo and Truth ain't it. Deep Analysis ain't it. Spell Pace is a bit weak, I think. Force Spike on the draw. Probably don't need all three and alls. And then probably take out a Consider. Try that. So we have some early game interaction. We have a curfew. Got a null. Maybe you just didn't get many uh, enchantments going, but maybe the other null should have been in. But we'll keep this. He gets to go gate. And null. Okay, I'm going to lead on Delver. I'm assuming the removal's just not there. I'm assuming I'm going to journey this route. I'm going to play Ledge Walker. Sure. Flip. Let's go! The blind flip. Hit the three. And then we can basically a null count spell all that sort of good stuff. Abundant growth. Do I really want you to draw a card? Sure. You can have this. You can have it. And he doesn't find a land. It's for one, sure. Okay. Well, I don't need to play anything. How many snaps did I take out? Two. I only took one, obviously only took one snap out. Oh no, I took the echo and truth out instead, didn't I? Silly Billy. Let's count with this. Has he got another one? He has got another one. Hot damn. Don't flip a curfew. That's fine. So now a 3 3 first strike, which is obviously gonna. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, these snaps are looking bad. Obviously, we're just going to try and count spell anything that gains in life or anything that makes the ethereal armor bigger. Like a doggo. I think doggo is probably worth countering. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can tap out and play that. Uh, play one of these. Oh my god. All three snaps. Just going to hit the three here. Three, four, five. So we can look at... Another doggo. Sure. I actually think that's fine because then I can um, snap it and can't spell it. It's four. Take three. We can have a double terror land. Okay. 
eight. So we basically just single Terra here and then attack for three. Because then we can hold up Count Spell. If you want to tap out for a companion here. Yeah, I think this is fine. He's got another player now. We will take four if he attacks. Let's play another ledge walker. White. Make your mind up, mate. Sacred Cat. Sure. So we bounce this. Untap two lands. Bounce this. Untap two lands. And then untap and kill you. GG! Let's go! Another 4 1 with this deck. This deck be strong. This deck is secretly the OP terror deck. This deck's strong. I like this deck. So, I think there's too many lands. I think one too many lands. It's a bit awkward with Spire Golem. But I think cutting one land for probably a fourth consider is probably where I would want to be. Um, I think the sideboard's actually quite fine. I think probably the one four for null. I actually think Bogles is actually around quite a bit. Also, called Dothers around quite a bit. That's why there's a six Hydros. Uh, probably the Lose Focus doesn't need to be in the main, uh, in the side. Maybe even the Gut Shots, to be honest. Probably just take out the Gut Shots, add in a Null, add in probably something else, like a Dispel, maybe. Um, but yeah, I can see Cut Alarm for a fourth Consider. Might be wrong, but you're not in a real rush, and you have so much card draw, you're willing to find it. But Because you, you, you don't really have much... Um, it's just really awkward when you, you've you've done what you need to do you get your terrors into play and you just need gas like maybe you need another deep analysis I don't know but I I, I was impressed I was impressed with this deck this deck's really strong and I, and I recommend you guys give it a try um, see if you guys can do about the main 5 all with this beast it is a good deck uh, highly recommend trying it out and please don't forget to like and subscribe. It does loads of support. And I really appreciate it. And cheers guys. And I'll see you guys next time.